Leading virology experts are warning of another outbreak of equine flu. The disease not only makes horses ill, but the highly contagious virus has the potential to cancel entire equine events. Merial Animal Health has joined forces with the Animal Health Trust in a push to encourage vets and the entire horse industry that they all have a part to play in preventing an epidemic, as Sue Saville explains. A perfect performance requires perfect health, sidestepping equine flu that's endemic in the horse population by keeping vaccinations up to date. Vets say that Britain is overdue a serious outbreak of horse flu given the 12 to 15 year cycle of mutating viruses. Many horse owners and vets will never have seen a case, but will have heard of the outbreak in Australia in 2007, which put a stop to all horse racing, competitions and transportation. Definitely, you know, we are uh, due a big problem with flu and I think we almost forget as well in the UK uh, how devastating it can be. Australia, they had a, a real disaster. By the time it finished, there were something like 50,000 horses that had been affected and it went on for a good six months or so. Equine flu is a risk even for individual leisure horses. A visiting pony or a horse in a neighbouring field might introduce the highly contagious infection. Owners need a change of mindset to understand that only wider herd immunity will reduce the risk of an outbreak, say experts. The Animal Health Trust operate the Sentinel Practice Surveillance Scheme, funded by the racing industry via the Horse Race Betting Levy Board, with influenza testing of samples submitted by participating practices from horses of all kinds, not just the thoroughbreds and racehorses whose owners fund the system. This is a scheme that anyone can sign up to and critically when you submit a swab um, looking for flu viruses then that is free of charge. Um, so although it's funded by racing, it, the intention is that we monitor flu um, strains throughout the country on an ongoing basis and of course when it comes to a flu virus they do not distinguish between a thoroughbred racehorse and a Shetland pony. Keeping performance horses in peak condition means taking all steps to prevent possible illness. 70% of the total horse population needs to be vaccinated against equine flu if an epidemic is to be prevented. Yet currently only 40% of horses are protected. The World Organization for Animal Health publishes the most current circulating equine influenza strains in an official document. The specific viral strains that we would wish to have in influenza vaccines are very clearly and unequivocally stated uh, in that document um, that, that's published every single year. So far there's only one of our four vaccines that does so you can't just st stand still with the virus strains that you use. That one vaccine, says Professor Durham, is Protect Flu from Merial Animal Health. The company says their groundbreaking technology can help future-proof the protection of the horse population. The Canary Pox Vector vaccine technology is a really innovative vaccine platform developed by Merial. It uses a canary pox virus, um, which is a, a large virus and comparatively easy to, to manipulate genetically. And within that virus, it inserts, in the case of, of the equine influenza virus, a gene for haemagglutinin, which is the most important antigen um, when we're looking at protective immunity against equine flu. Vets play a vital role in educating owners about the need for vaccination. Even a little companion horse like Roxy could be at risk. So she's just annual vaccinations now, so next one's due in 12 months. Regular vaccination allows vets to meet owners and horses in a calm environment, away from a health emergency. But the message can be made clear, equine flu is serious, with potentially dangerous consequences. It is quite debilitating, high temperature, um, and some of them will then go on to develop other complications and uh, require more extensive treatment. From our point of view and from the client's point of view, it's a key part of their health care, a key moment in their year is when we come out or the horse comes to us and we're able to give the vaccine and just discuss other health issues. The problem with having an under-vaccinated um, population is the risk that if flu does become endemic, it will spread through the population very, very quickly. Uh, and the consequences of that would be well, frankly, would be quite catastrophic. To avert such a catastrophe, a system of telltale texts lets vets know when a case of equine flu is diagnosed. 
communication and education about the importance of vaccination will be key to preventing an overdue epidemic.